I'm Hamish, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Sometimes, customers ask me how they can get started reviewing their logged account activity in CloudTrail. Today, I'll be showing you a few of these methods, starting with the simplest and ending with the most powerful. Let's get started. The simplest way to review activity is to use CloudTrail's event history feature. This records all management events under your account for the last 90 days for supported AWS services, and it works even if you haven't set up a trail yet in CloudTrail. Let's go through the steps to start looking at our events. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudTrail console. Then, select the Event History page. Here, you can see the most recent API calls in your account. Choose one to expand it and see a summary. Choose View Event to see the raw JSON data for the event. By default, the filter field is set to read-only and its value is set to false. Remove this filter to see read-only events. You can use the other filter options to help narrow down your search. For example, select Event Name, type Terminate Instances, and press Enter. You'll see all the attempted EC2 instance terminate calls that have been made under the account. Finally, to save a copy of the events you filtered, choose the Download button on the right and choose either CSV or JSON format. For the rest of our methods, you need to have a trail set up in CloudTrail to log your API calls separately to the event history. From here, this video assumes you have a trail ready to go. Now, we'll go through using CloudWatchLogs. For more flexible analysis and filtering, we can set up CloudTrail to send logs to a CloudWatch Logs group. It's important to note that this only works for future events, so you can't use this method to review activity from before the logs were configured. Let's go ahead and set this up. From the CloudTrail console, go to the Trails page and select your existing trail. In the settings here, scroll down to the CloudWatch Logs section and choose Configure. You can enter a custom name for the logs group or just hit Continue. Here, we're prompted to create a role so CloudTrail can push to the logs group. The default configuration is fine, so just choose Allow. Now, we can go to the CloudWatch console to review the new events being logged. From the CloudWatch console, go to the logs page. Select the log group you named in the previous steps. You might see multiple log streams depending on the amount of calls that are logged. If there's more than one, choose Search Log Group at the top. Choose any event to see the raw JSON data logged by CloudTrail. CloudWatch's filter syntax lets us do more complex filtering than the previous method. Let's start with a term-based search. If I type Terminate Instances into the filter and hit Enter, all events containing that term will appear. We can also do JSON-based filtering. For example, this query finds all EC2 instance terminate calls. I can then add another comparison to narrow it down to terminate calls made by a specific user. Next, we'll look at using Amazon Athena. This is a service that scans files in an S3 bucket and runs SQL queries against them. We'll go through the automatic setup for CloudTrail analysis and then perform some example queries. To get started, go to the CloudTrail event history page again. Choose the link at the top of the page that reads Run Advanced Queries in Amazon Athena. In this pop-up, select the S3 bucket your trail is sending log files to, and then choose Create. This automatically creates your Athena table. Now, let's go to the Amazon Athena console. In Athena, you should now see your table on the left as named in the previous step. Choosing the table shows the fields you can access with the same names as in the CloudTrail JSON. Now let's run an SQL query. You can run any valid Presto SQL query against these fields. For this example, I'm using one that lists the most frequent API callers and the types of calls they are making by grouping the username and event fields. After you enter a query, choose Run Query. Both the time taken and the cost of the query depend on how much data is in your bucket for Athena to scan, so this can take a while if you have a lot of logs. Once the query completes, the results appear below. To save a copy in CSV format, choose the Export button on the right. Finally, for custom processing, you can directly access the log files from S3. Let's take a look at what these files look like. First, go to the S3 console. 
From the Amazon S3 console, go to the bucket your trail is sending logs to. Choose AWS logs and your account number. From here, files are organized by the region they were recorded in, the year, the month, and the day. Files here are bundled log archives. Cloudtrail records about five minutes of logs at a time, zips them together, and then delivers them as a single file with a timestamp in the file name. Choose one to access it. If your browser supports it, choose open, and you may be able to view the JSON directly. With this method, you can use custom applications to directly read and process Cloudtrail logs, or even make use of a third-party Cloudtrail partner for a ready-made solution. Search AWS Cloudtrail Partners for more information. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.